But pain is just something I feel like is not necessary in a fight. It's just kind of like off the checklist. <laughs> Look at this again. Boom! Yeah, I don't know how you don't want to run through a brick wall after watching that. Joining us now on UFC Fight Camp is Misha Cupcake Tate. Very happy to see you. I actually want to start with that Holly Holm clip because I remember watching that fight and I remember her trying to flip you over and I was like, oh no, this might not be good. But not only did you hold on, you got the submission. We were like, what were you thinking in that moment? I was just thinking I can't let go. I've got it, and I've got to hang on to this with everything that I have. And uh, that's what I did. <laughs> I hung on to it like a dog on a bone. Yeah, that was an incredible highlight for sure, among many in your career. And, and really, like, we're celebrating the UFC's 30 years uh, throughout this show, and you are the perfect person to talk to because you were there, really, front and center, when the UFC introduced the female divisions, and we started to finally see, back in 2013, women's fights in the UFC. Obviously, we saw them in Strike Force and elsewhere before that, but just take us back to that year or that time when the UFC finally introduced these divisions. What was the, what, what, what was the mindset and how did you feel that the UFC was finally making this leap? I feel like I had a big chip on my shoulder, like something to prove, you know, because Dana had been saying for so long that, you know, there would never be women in the UFC. And when we finally got that opportunity, it was like, this is the time to showcase. Like there, there's no, I mean, not that it was games before, but if, if I could emphasize how much more serious that big grand stage really felt and the opportunity to be next to the most elite male counterparts, um, you know, it was, yeah, it was a big moment for us. And uh, mind you, you know, when Strike Force was going away, we didn't know if women were going to get to be a part of the UFC. So just getting that relief of knowing that we still had a future and a place to go. And, and uh, the best news was that it was the biggest platform in the world, you know, the UFC. Well, certainly in that moment, like you said, Strike Force was going away, but one of the biggest rivalries to come from Strike Force was coming to the UFC. Of course, you and Ronda Rousey. I'm just curious, like 10 years removed, how do you look back on that rivalry with Rousey? Oh, you know, I look back at it with a lot of gratitude, if I can be honest. I'm so thankful that I had a rival like her because not everybody gets the opportunity to stand oppose somebody who can build a storyline alongside you. And I can say that my younger self, I didn't appreciate that as much as I do now. And I'm grateful to have had somebody to push me and to push the sport. So, you know, Rhonda was a great adversary. She was what the sport really needed and she's what I needed as well. Yeah, it's certainly one that will go down the annals of time uh, in terms of rivalries. I remember watching it and how bitter it was back and forth. But we fast forward and you have the opportunity finally, you know, a culmination of a career's uh, worth of work to win the championship. Take us back to that moment when you finally held that title in your hands. You know, holding the UFC world title in my hands was so surreal. It definitely took a week or so for it to really sink in because I think most athletes, but I know for sure myself, I visualize a lot. So I had already won this belt thousands of times in my mind. I had pictured myself there because that was my, my main motivation. And so when I was actually there, it was almost felt just like the dream that I had been envisioning in my head. And I had to take time to realize that this actually happened this time, as opposed to me manifesting this. And, um, it was a, it was the culmination of my career. It was 10 years almost to the day of my pro debut. And, you know, it's just like all that hard work, um, you know, hours and hours banked inside the gym, <laughs> all the repetitions, all the, the beat downs, everything in that moment made sense.
So Misha, speaking of taking time, that's exactly what you did in your career, right? You paused your professional MMA career. Here you are back now. You're, you have an upcoming fight against Julia Avila. How is camp going? And also, how different are things going into this fight? I mean, life is different. Uh, situations are different. How is camp going? Well, thank you for highlighting that. I'm about to jump on after this uh, in wrestling practice. So, um, you know, this camp has been a really good camp. Um, I've definitely had a little bit of a longer break than I would have expected, but I really focused on my mental here. I, I really feel like, uh, you know, the mental health has been a quite a hot topic and a lot of athletes are kind of discussing it. And it really made me sit back and reevaluate how I want to approach those 15 minutes when I'm inside the octagon and you know 15 minutes it is not a long time but when you're in there it can feel like a long time but then when it's done it also feels like it was in the blink of an eye so it's such a weird place to be like the eye of the storm and I really want to be prepared to be present and want a specific outcome in this fight and it's it's much different than any other fight. You know, I, I feel like I had to make some adjustments compared to my last fight, and I'm looking forward to this one. I think it's a really good matchup. She's a very feisty fighter. She's the, the raging panda, if that tells you anything. So she one of the better more. nicknames, she, right? <laughs> it's a great name, yes. The Cupcake and the Raging Panda. <laughs> that might be an all-time nickname matchup, actually, in UFC history. The Cupcake versus the Raging Panda. I love that. Uh, that's December 2nd, UFC Fight Night. Uh, you are a trailblazer in this industry, but you're, the chapters in your book continue to be written. Misha Tate joining us here on UFC Fight Camp. Thanks so much for your time. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, and uh, I'm going to peace out and go get my wrestling in. <laughs>